what I'm wound. Woo, she's so. And this is a different setup than I'm currently usually doing. So this is my desktop screen on my main computer. What we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Blender how, and how to make a Minecraft thumbnail with it and all that. So it's going to be kind of a big how-to video. I plan on doing more how-to videos on how to like uh, use the picture that you're going to make in this video to make the thumbnail and how I actually make the thumbnail and all that. Uh, and I'm also going to do a how to install Minecraft mods and get Minecraft texture packs and all that. So that'll be the next videos to come. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this link. It'll be the first link in the description. I'm going to put them in order in the description. So let's go here. Yes, I want to go there. So it'll take you to this website, which is blender.org. And you're going to just click this little button right here to get started. Um, and as soon as you click it, it's going to bring you to this page. Okay, so I know all this sounds a bit complicated, like, oh, I don't even know what bit is. Well, I don't even know what bit is either, but it's kind of important. So, you want to go here to your little start thing at the bottom of your screen, whether you're Windows 10 or something. This, this is a tutorial for Windows 10. So, if you click this, if you right-click, so this little window pops up, uh, you go to System, and as soon as you click System, this big thing will pop up. Don't click anything on the screen, it's not really going to help you do anything and it says system type and it's a 64-bit operating system and stuff like that and the 64-bit is what type my computer is so therefore i would go to this page i would go to i think i'm gonna do installer rather than zip a uh, zip file uh and i am windows not mac so yeah and i'm gonna go to installer and just hit usa on 64-bit over here and then it'll pop up a little link at the bottom of my screen with the download popping up down there Okay, so once your download's done, you want to just click it, and then it'll open, it says opening, blender, and then it'll prepare to install, and all this, and then you'll hit next, and then you'll hit I accept the terms, and then agreements, and all that, hit next again, next again, install, and then it starts to install blender, and all that. Okay, so once you've done all that, you're going to go to the other link I put in the description, and you're going to go to this website right here. Well, it is a rig, so you can get your Minecraft skin into Blender and edit with it and all that all you want. So, you're going to want to go to Downloads and go to Blender Rigs, and it'll bring you to this. And once it brings you to this, you're going to want to just, like, click the thing itself, like, click Blender, Minecraft Blender Rig. Okay, then you're going to want to scroll down, and it'll say Cycles and Eternal. I don't, this is whether you prefer or how good your computer is, really. Cycles on my laptop went really slow, and it would take like forever just to render one little scene of my animation. So I prefer to use Blender Eternal, which is Blender Render, uh, or you can use Cycle Render. But I'm going to be doing this tutorial on the Eternal one, so it's just, it goes quicker. So, you're going to want to just click that, and then a zip file will pop up, and you have to extract that. And if you don't know how to extract it, let it just wait there for a minute. I want to extract it on my desktop, so I'm going to show you how to bring it to your desktop. So, once your little zip file is done downloading, you want to grab that, click and hold it, so that this little, like, circle appears when you're ho hovering over it, and you want to hover that over top of this little corner of your screen, and then you're, like, it'll minus your window, and then you can just drag it onto your desktop. Now, once it's on your desktop, you're like, okay, what do I do now? Well, you right-click it, and it'll say extract all, and you want to do that, and then it'll tell you where it's extracting. I prefer to extract it to my desktop, so it's just easier to find. So, it'll extract, and then you'll have this little bar pop up, and then it'll pop up this little window here, but you don't need that, so you can just, like, close out of that, because it's already over here, right next to you. So, if you don't already, go to your documents, and you're gonna go to documents, and you're gonna wanna make a, uh, a blender folder. So, you just go right-click, and hit new, and then go folder, and then just type blender. And then you just wanna drag it into your documents, or your easy access thing, so you can just click it. So I'm going to unpin that one because I don't need you right now. So, once you do that, you can go into that folder and you can just drag in from your desktop into that folder and bam, it'll be there. Blender Minecraft Rig. Now, once that's in there, you want to go open Blender for the first time ever. And this big thing looks so complicated when you first open it. You're like, okay, too many words, too much gray, it all looks weird. Well, you're going to just click and get rid of that out of your face. And you don't really need this cube. You don't need it in your life. But if you want to mess with that at any other time, you can. But if you want to delete it, just hit X on your keyboard and then hit delete. Same with the little lamp thing. We're not going to be using that kind of lighting for this. Now, if you don't have a numpad, which if you don't know what a numpad is, if you don't have one, then you probably wouldn't know what it was. 
But it's like another set of a number area on your keyboard. Like you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and all that. Well, zero on my numpad opens my camera. But if you don't have a numpad on your keyboard, that's all right. You can just go down here to view, click view, and then just click camera, and it'll go in your camera. Now, once you do that, you can go shift F, and you can look around. And if you hit W, it's just like walking in Minecraft. If you hold W, you can fly around. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, this is so slow. Why is it so slow? Yours may be fast. I don't know. But it's really slow. But for me, to get rid of that, I just hold shift while I move around. And it goes quicker like this. Um, and it just helps you get around easier. Or if you uh, right click, it'll undo what you were just doing. So like say I'm moving my camera around, but I don't want it to be down here. I want it to go back where it was. I just right click and it goes right back there. So I'm going to get out of my camera now. And say you don't uh, want to do it that way, you can just click it by right. Everything is based on a right click. You don't ever click like this because it just moves that little cursor around. Uh, you want to click the other way. And if you hit A, it unselects everything that you have selected, like that. Uh, so you want to keep. You don't. It doesn't really matter where this is. That's just how your item, like where your item is going to go when you like put it into Blender. That's where it's going to go. Um, so you, everything's based on this click. So you can click that and hit G. And hit X or whatever, or you can just hit G and move it around. Uh, here's the little axes thing. If you hit G X, it goes left and right. If you hit G Y, it goes forward and back. And if you hit G Z, it goes up and down. So, hit, and you can also do Shift F without being in the camera to make it easier on yourself. Uh, if you don't have a scroll wheel on your mouse that lets you zoom in and out like this, you can just go Shift F and look around like this. It'll make it a lot easier on yourself. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, I'll just ask it in the comments below and I'll cover it maybe if I know it. Uh, but right now, you don't really need this little pop-up window over here. So I'm just going to hit T to get rid of that. And there's another pop-up window that's already hidden when you first start. It's the key on your keyboard. It's in and it pops up. You're going to need that if you want a background for your picture. But I'm going to be going over like a transparent background in this, you know, stuff so, I can, so you can use it for thumbnails. So if you do something like hit G... While you're in your camera, you'll see it start to fall. And if you don't know how to do the left click thing, like this, uh, there's another way to undo what you did. If you open the T thing again, you can go to History on the Tools tab and hit Undo, and it'll undo whatever you did. And you can also hit Redo. Um, so yeah, that's nice little handy tips. What we're going to be doing in this video now, now that you got everything set up, is you're going to go to File, and you're going to hit Append. Once you click that, you're going to go to your Blender little folder here, and you're going to open that little rig you just put in there that says Blender underscore Minecraft underscore rig, and you're going to click that and hit Character Rig. Uh, once you hit that, you're going to be like, okay, what's all this crap? Well, you're going to hit Object, and then you're going to hit A, which selects everything, and you don't really need the camera to be in your scene, so you're going to hit Shift and click that while holding Shift. And then, I don't really like using the cape either. You can use the cape if you want, but I don't like having the cape, so I'm gonna shift click that too. And then I'm gonna hit append from library over here. And then all this stuff will pop up and you're like, whoa, wild wolf, what is this? It's so white, why is it all like a big cube? Well, this is your Minecraft person here. And what you don't need in your life, by the way, is this thing over here, you don't need any of this stuff. To the right of your character. All you really need is the character itself and the thing that says design and all that. You also don't need this little thing above his head. You don't need that. And you don't need these little things in front of his eyes that are just sitting here. You don't need those. So, there we go. And you also, if you want, you don't have to put your skin on this uh, little person here. You can just uh, use them the normal way. But I prefer to put my skin on them so I don't really use the controls panel because they don't work with a Minecraft like 1.8 skin or 1.8 and up uh, well, they don't work with my skin they might work with yours I don't know but it doesn't work with my skin so anyway you're wondering why is it all white why, why is it all a big white blob well you go to this little circle down here that's a big white thing and you click that and you open it into textures so and I realize that yours probably won't look like this yours will probably look like this Yours will probably look really blurry and like crap when you get it out of that little uh, solid mode right here. Uh, I like to go into texture mode. It works better. Material mode just makes it all black. Uh, render mode renders it out for you. Um, but we're going to stay in texture mode because it's just the best mode to use. So yours is probably going to look all blurry and you're like, okay, what did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. 
it is Blender. You have to fix that. So what you want to do is go to File, and you want to go to User Preferences, and then you want to go to, uh, then you want to go to System, on the very end, and uncheck MIP Maps, and then that'll go away. Then you just want to hit Save User Settings and close out of it. There you go. Your skin looks, you know, normal. And, uh, now the problem is, you have all these movable parts that you won't really use on your... Uh, Minecraft skin very much so I just like to get rid of those things like the moving like the opening closing eyes don't work on my Minecraft skin so what I do is I, I'll go to this thing and put it from object mode into pose mode and I want to click the little squares and open like turn on the hat so it has my Minecraft hat around it and turn on ignore buddy snoring and turn on no head which makes it where he has no like movable eye features and stuff turn on no fingers and, uh, don't, just ignore flat face. And turn on second layer. It's kind of like a hat, but for your body. And if you're a girl, you can use the breast thing if you want. Just gives your Minecraft skin, um, just keeps giving Steve boobs. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, you can mess with that as much as you want. This is all up to you, not really me. So, what you're wondering is, okay, Wild Wolf, you showed us how to get the thing in here. You showed us all this, but I still want to know how to get my skin onto this little person. So is go to these little lines up here in the corner of the little screen thing uh and you want to click it to, like you want to hover over and a little plus will appear you want to click it and drag it over towards your minecraft skin over here the little steve skin then you're going to go to this little square white cube and then you want to hit uh uv slash image editor and you want to click that now it's going to be a big gray blob and you want to hit this little picture symbol right here and click the thing that says char png then the steve skin will appear and you can just go to this little folder right here the thing that looks really weird you want to click that it's you have to pack your file so you want to hit the very top one which is use file from current directory create when necessary so you want to click that and it'll say it'll say error most likely it probably won't work but it will be good enough to actually, you know, do that. It, that. That just means it didn't save the skin, but it doesn't matter because you don't really need it. Um, but yeah, just un, just unpack the thingy and just make sure it looks like that. You Then you want to hit image and hit replace image. Then you want to find wherever your Minecraft skin is. So, once you open your skin, it'll look like this, most likely. It'll look really stupid, like nothing is where it belongs, and you're going to wonder what the crap did I do wrong with this. So, you can get rid of this thing over here now, you don't need it, you can just click this thing right here and drag it towards this way until the little gray arrow outline appears, then you want to release and it'll get rid of it. So, now that we're here in this predicament with my skin looking all like crap, you want to go over here to where all these little settings are and you want to open out this little bar thing so you can see it better and pull this down as well, wait till the little line appears like that. So it looks like that and then you want to drag it down now there you go now you want to look for the thing that says char bones and you want to click that and then the thing around your skin will highlight so you want to click the little plus symbol next to that and then all this stuff will appear down here so you want to scroll down and you want to click char head now once you click char head it'll show like a little orange outline around your head and you want to go to this little bracket like triangle thing down here that is you know right there <laughs> See it? Okay. Click that, and then it'll highlight it blue. And you want to scroll all the way down to the very, very, very bottom. And you want to click one point uh, plus one point eight skin, and then your head will appear. But you're not done yet. You're not done yet. Don't go away from this screen. So you see next to this little one point eight and up skin is a little camera. So unless you tick that little camera, it won't render what you see right now. It won't render that. So you have to tick that little camera like that until it, you know, turns the color it's supposed to be. Instead of, like, right now it's rendering the old 1.8 skin. You want to render in the new 1.8 skin. So, now you gotta do that with the char mesh, uh, char mesh thing right here. This char mesh. Uh, and then you're gonna go 1.8 skin, click the little camera, go to hat, click the 1.8 skin, click the little camera, and there you go. This little char mesh right here is, uh... This one right here, it's nothing. I don't know why it's there. It's the overlay, I guess. I don't know. Now when you go on your camera, which if you don't have a numpad, we'll go over that again. If you don't have a numpad, go to camera down here if you have to. Shift F. And then you want to go down to your little Minecraft skin and pose it however you want to see it. Uh, there we go. I'm going to deselect that by hitting A. Now if you go to render 
up here at the top and you can hit render image to see what it will look like when you render this picture. So, right now, your picture is gonna look like this. And you're like, okay, I did something wrong. She didn't mess up, I did. No, no, no. We just haven't turned on ambient occlusion. You wanna click the earth. And then you wanna scroll down until you see ambient occlusion. And you wanna check that little box next to it. You don't wanna mess with anything else. Just check that little box. Go back to render, hit image. And there you are. There's your Minecraft skin loading in perfectly. But say you don't want that big gray background. You want it to be transparent. So you can put it on pictures for, you know, thumbnails and stuff. You want to be able to actually use this picture without the big gray background. So you want to just hit escape uh, out of that. And you want to go to, you want to go to the little camera. And you want to scroll down until you see shading. And you want to click that little shading tab. And see where it says sky? You want to click that little tab and hit transparent. Now when you render, the background will come out as this. Now go back to render, hit render image, and as you see, it's just your Minecraft skin. You see a bunch of little, you know, dark gray and light gray dots are surrounding the skin. That means it has no background. So, that means you could use this picture for whatever you want. You can't screenshot it, so I'm going to show you how to save it. Uh, because you can't just use sniping tool and take a picture of it like this because then the background won't be transparent You want to just go down to image once you're done and you want to save that picture You want to go down to image and hit save image save as image or you can just hit f3 And then your files will pop up and you want to just pick where you want to save that picture I like to save it in blender and I have a little folder inside that says blender pics So say you want to pose this skin though say you don't want it to just stand there lifelessly you, if you wanted to do that, you could just take a picture on Minecraft. So, now you got everything set up over here, you can just drag that away. And position your camera to the picture angle that you want. I'm going to drag mine like this. Now, leave your camera by going back to view and just clicking camera again. Then shift F so you can get back to your skin and get the right angle you need. So, once you do this, you're going to click the little white bars inside your skin. Like these little things. But like that until they highlight or you could just click the little square around your feet by doing that by right clicking and then go from object mode to pose mode and everything turns blue and red and stuff so uh, you're gonna just click the little bars in your arms and hit R X or R Y or R Z uh, or you can just hit R in general and move it left and right like this or you can hit R twice and it'll move it around like this uh, But I like to just do RX if I want to move it out forward like this Then if you click the little bar down here, you can get, hit RX and it bends it a little bit I like to make it bent a little bit so it looks more alive uh, RY tilt it out a little bit RX tilt it forward There we go RY tilt it out so it looks more alive and then R, just you can just hit R really, you don't have to hit RX, but I like hitting RX because it feels more like it's bending better. So, now that you got your arms bent a little, you have it feel more lifelike, you can bend your body a little bit, like to the side maybe, RY, bends it a little bit to the side, and then this goes RX, bends it a little bit forward, RY, bends it to the side, and you can also, uh, if you hit, oh, and while you're in Shift F, you can hit E and it'll uh, go up, or Q and it'll go down. Grab the little middle bar in your little waist area and hit G, Z, and it'll drag it down a little bit, give your knees a little bit of a bend, and then click your little feet and hit G, X, and it'll go to the side, G, Y, or G, Z, my, my, my mistake, okay, lift it up a little bit, G, Y, put it back a little, G, X, move it to the side, G, Y, move it forward, you know, usual things that you do. Um, and then move the head around, GX, move it up a little, GY, tilt it, you know, G, actually I kind of want to look down, so GX, put it down, and there we go. Now you can go back into your camera, zero on the numpad, or just click the little camera thing. Then you can position your camera to how you actually want it, now that you see how your pose turned out. So, like this, there we go, and hit render, and hit image. Now that you see, your Minecraft skin looks a lot more alive than it did five seconds ago when it was just standing there lifelessly. So, say you want to have like a pet with you, or a sword, or something like that. You can escape this by hitting escape on your keyboard. And then leave your camera by zero on the numpad, or just going to view and clicking camera. Uh, 
and then shift F to get back to where you were. Now, once you do that, hit A so you can unselect everything you have selected. Uh, and you go to File, Append, and go back to the little Blender file. Go to your Blender file, click Blender underscore Minecraft underscore Rig. You go to that again and hit Mob this time. Instead of Character Rig, it's Mob Rig. Now, this is where it gets a little more complicated. You want to go to Object, and you don't just need the one that's called, you know, Bones Wolf. You need to shift click that and move over until you find the one that says uh, Mob Wolf. That way you get the bones that move around the wolf, and you also get the wolf itself. See right here, Mob Wolf and Bones Wolf. You have to shift click both of them. Um, or you can just click one and shift click the other. That, w that means you're selecting both of them. So shift click Bones Wolf. Shift click Mob Wolf, and then hit a pin from library. And there he is over there. Now you can get rid of all these little cubes down here because you don't need a single one of those. They're not going to be useful to you. So just click them, right click them, hit X, right click, hit X. Click the bottom little square around your wolf. And then you want to shift F and go back to like this angle so you can see your wolf and the Minecraft skin like this. And hit G, Y, or no, G, X. X is what it is. Okay, and you move it next to you. There you go. Now your wolf is next to you in your picture. You can just adjust it to the angle you want. And there you go. Now as you can see, he has a little orange outline around him like your skin used to. So you want to put him from object mode into pose mode. And then he'll be able to move around and stuff. So you can like make him bark like rough, 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 rough. Or you can make his head like tilt up or tilt left like he's confused. Uh, you can click his little butt and hit RX and his butt will tilt down uh, And I like to grab this little middle bar sticking up from out of him That's how you control his whole body and make it move up and down or go left and right like this So I'll make that go down a little more and make his butt like to make his body go R uh, X and tilt back make his butt go down a little more Lift up his tail and get a better view to see what he looks like. Uh, move his feet outward more because they're too close to him. Okay, wait, no, it's this one. GX, move it to the left. There we go. Get the other one. GX, move it over here. No, that's that one. Okay, GX, move it out. And then move his head down because he's looking up too much. And then go into your camera view. And there he is in your scene. You can also click this little wolf thing that's above his head and go from object mode to pose mode. And you can make his eyes red, or you can make him have a collar, or you can make him have, you know, close his eyes and open them and stuff like this. Uh, stuff like that. Now, if you want him to have a collar, I want him to have a little red collar because it's Boomer. Uh, I'm going to go to this little thing that says down here. It says driver's wolf collar. And you want to click G and drag it up. And then you want to go, see where it has a little white outline? You want to go to, you want to click the wolf itself, where it has a little orange outline around it. And click the little texture tab over here, uh, which is your little materials tab. And you want to click that, and you see the one that says color? You want to click that, and change this right here, this little reddish color, to whatever color you want on this little wheel. I'm going to change it to red, and when I hit, when I go into my camera again, you guys know how to go into the camera, you go to view, or you hit zero on your num numpad, and now I want to go to render and hit render image. And now, as you see, he will have a red collar. And he's sitting next to me and he's my puppy. So, yeah. Now, say you want to have a sword in this hand over here, over here or something. So you look like you and your doggy are ready to go into war. So, hit escape. Leave your camera. Hit in zero or go to view at the bottom down there. And hit camera. Or, okay. So, now you want to have a sword. So, you want to go to File, hit Append. This is what you always do with this. And you want to go to Document, or wherever you have y'all, you know, Blender thing. It doesn't have to be in Documents. It could be on your desktop. Uh, go to Blender underscore Minecraft Rig, and then click that and hit Item Rig. Then it'll bring up, you go to Object again, it'll bring up all these things right here. So, I know where the sword is because I've had to move it in several times. But you can find pretty much any item in the game right here. So, scroll all the way to the end. And here's the swords, all the way to the very end of the list. And I'm gonna do a diamond sword. So, sword iron, sword goat, sword diamond. Now you wanna click the sword diamond and hit a pin from library. Now you're like, okay, where's the sword? I don't, I don't see the sword. There it is, it's right behind you, duh, of course. Okay, you wanna click the sword and you wanna, you wanna position it in your hand. So, uh, just like R, Z, G, X, 
move it over, G, Y, move it forward, G, Z, move it down, G, X, move it forward, you know, usual. Just position the sword in your hand. And while I talk, I guess, you can just position it in your hand. Um, cause it's gonna take me a second. This is like art, okay? You have to make it look nice. You have to make it look like it's actually being held by you, you know? So yeah, tilt it a little more. Tilt it. R, X, tilt, there. R, Z, tilt, there. Now, now that the sword is in my hand, I want it to be a little bit more seen by the camera. And now that I've got it in my hand, I can't really just move my arm because it won't keep hold of the sword. So it doesn't follow my hand. So what you're going to want to do is click the sword and then shift click the bone in your arm and hit control P and hit bone relative at the very bottom. Now that when you move your arm, the sword will move with it. So wherever you bend your arm or whatever you do to your arm, the sword will go with it. So I'm going to tilt my arm so that people can see the sword better in the picture. So they know I'm holding a sword and I am ready to kill. There. Go back into your camera. Unselect everything. Uh, hit A. There you go. File. No. Uh, render. Render image. Now the sword is in your hand. Bam. So... The only way to get rid of the sword, by the way, to make you not be holding it, is to delete it. So, you had to, you'd have to append a sword all over again and put it in your hand and all that. But there you go. That's how you use this to make a thumbnail and stuff like that. This is how you make a backgroundless picture. Now that you've got this picture all set up, you can go down to image, hit save as image, and uh, my skin, I'm going to call it my skin 2, and save it in my blender pics folder, hit enter. And hit save as image there i have it saved that is how you make a picture using blender um i hope you guys know this tutorial the next tutorial will be me showing you how to make a thumbnail uh like with actual good resolution and all that and stuff like that and yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like because it supports my channel and lets me know that you guys enjoy the content i'm making and yeah i guess i'll see you guys in the next one uh if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and i will help you uh, if I know the solution to your problem, if you have a problem, I might know the solution to it. So don't feel scared to ask me if you have an issue. Don't feel like you can't ask me. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. I'm Wild. Woo! 6 And this is Boomer. And we will see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.